Hello! This is my first live cooking show and I'm like this right now because I need to get around the other side to show you what to do. So I'm going to apologize first of all for the echoey environment but what I want to do is show you guys how we can make really healthy simple meals at home um, as we all consider spending more time here. I'm going to go around the other side now and show you. So guys, the first one I've decided to show you today is um, a really simple protein porridge, which I would say I have about 99% of the time when I'm at home. Um, in fact, you know, with the way things are at the moment and exactly why I'm doing this, to give you guys some ideas on how to eat a healthy at home, I couldn't get this in my uh, delivery shop the other day. So luckily there's a local shop that got it for me, but it is uh, just plain oats and it is something that um, you can store in your cupboard and it will last you for ages. So as we're looking at more tinned stuff, uh, stuff that we can put in our cupboards, frozen stuff, then that's what we need to be thinking about. Also, we go through a ton of this in our house. It's protein, whey protein powder. You can get lots of different types of protein powder. And we get ours from my protein. Uh, I'm a chocolate brownie fan. Dix is a strawberry fan. And um, we've also got cherry that we tried in there. So I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to make this at home. And you can also take this when everybody's returning into work because it stays in cupboards, okay? So this is the type of thing that we wanna be doing. So the way that I make mine each morning, um, I first of all, I've got the kettle on, so I'm gonna press that back on now, a sec. Um, and then whilst that's boiling there, I get my oats and I use the plastic scoop, which comes out of these. So two of these, gives, with a little bit heaped, gives approximately 75 grams, okay? Now, the um, amount of calories on this recipe, you're looking at about 320-ish, okay? So for a breakfast that's really filling, this is awesome, okay? So while the kettle boils then, um, that is the two scoops of that, so it's so easy just to get out of the cupboard. Then, with the kettle, what I do, I just pour the boiled water just over the top like this until you can just see like a little bit of it on the top. You can't really see that there. Um, and then I just leave it like that. Now what I would normally be doing at this point now is I would make myself a cup of coffee and then by the time I put the coffee in and pour the water in and everything, this will have absorbed. Now the trick on this is to make sure that you don't put the protein in yet because I think what happens, the protein cools down the temperature so it stops the oats absorbing. Now with the oats you can have it as thick or as creamy and runny as you want. Now what I'm also going to be doing is adding on, going into my freezer, some frozen berries. So if you aren't in the habit of buying frozen berries, guys, these were last year. Because you notice I couldn't get the fresh ones. They are expensive. And then if one furry one decides it wants to be furry, the others decide they want to be furry as well. But these were last year in your freezer. So what you can do with these, you can just get a little handful of them and put them on top frozen. That's what some people do. Or you can just melt them a little bit. I've got some in the microwave that I'm going to do. So I'm going to leave... The, that from the top in there now. My protein powder, one scoop, just going in. So this is gonna provide about 20 grams of protein, okay guys? I'm just gonna stir and talk now. So the reason why you hear me talk a lot about protein is it is essential in our diets, okay? We do have essential proteins we should be consuming. Now, breakfast can tend to be a time where people have lower protein consumption if they're having things like breakfast cereal or toast. So what you want to be doing is aim to try and get protein at every single meal. And this is such a simple way of adding it in. Um, another reason you'll hear me talk a lot about protein, it is great for our immune system. Um, so again, something that we should be making sure we have plenty of every single day. But also, if you're wanting to lose weight, you want to be losing weight and not feeling hungry. So this is very filling. Um, it takes longer to digest, so it's a very satisfying food. Um, and, and other sources of protein would be things like eggs, fish, uh, meat, chicken, things like that. So I'm just going to put my microwave on there now. But what I want you to see is my lovely chocolate, chocolate brownie oats, just for there now. 
I am so tempted to lick my spoon, but I'm not going to for a minute. Um, so with this, like I said, it's about 300 calories. We've got about seven grams of fiber in this, so it's gonna be really great. We should be aiming for about 30 grams per day, guys, okay? Um, many people only get about 15. So that's half of what we should be getting, guys. Okay, uh, so I've kind of just defrosted these a little bit just to take the edge off them. And then all you've got to do is just pour them over the top. So I'm going to come and show you now this gorgeous bowl of chocolate protein and berries. Super, super easy. In fact, to me, overnight oats takes longer because in the nights I'm so tired, I'm like, I just can't be bothered. But something like this is amazing. It is so filling, um, healthy for you and easy to make at home. I'm just going to come around right here now and show you. So, hello, there. Now I can't tilt it because I'm going to tilt it all over the floor. Otherwise, bear with me. Check this out. Yum. So there. Mm, I don't know what I'm doing to my life now. So, so that is that literally done in minutes something that you can make super super quickly every single day if you wanted to um you can store it in your cupboards um you're gonna feel full from it and one thing that is so important for us all right now is to make sure that as we are uh, looking at being at home a lot more that we are creating routines and good healthy habits at home otherwise what's going to happen is people are going to be going to bed late waking up late feeling tired and lethargic can't be bothered we know what it's like at Christmas time and that's just two weeks at the moment we do not know how long we're looking at our lifestyles changing dramatically so from the start guys you really need to look at you know how are you eating um, will most of our foods be needing to come from tins and packets and freezer so these are the types of things you want to be doing so I hope that this video helps you with a really healthy, delicious idea of what you can be having for your breakfast most mornings. I have it most mornings and then on the weekend we like to have a little brunch with you know the things I, I usually share. So do consider something like this. If you've got any questions when it comes to recipes or food or habits, please do get in touch. I'm also going to be, I'm, I'm like right at the uh, in my mind phase of this, but I'm going to be creating a seven day challenge free seven day challenge which is going to be starting on Monday it's going to be a, a healthy habit at home challenge where every single day I'm going to be sharing with you workouts um, habits we can all be following when it comes to recipes um, little things like are we going to upskill and learn a new skill um, improve our education do some chores empty a cupboard what we can do with children to help those with a bit of a activities creativity mother's day is coming up we need to be doing things like that so that's what i'm going to be doing in that seven day challenge so i will be sharing more and it's just going to be completely free guys let's all like you know get up there and help each other as much as possible in every single industry people are going to be struggling right now and the most important thing that we consider is that um you know our physical and our men mental health is number one and i saw in the news last night that china um, are now dealing with the mental health effects of coming out the other side. So we need to protect ourselves as much as possible and learn from this. So let's all support each other. And I'm going to leave you one more time now with the breakfast recipe that we've just made. So there it is. Make sure you save this, give it a go and let me know what you think. And... I will be back tomorrow. I don't know what I'm doing with my camera, you guys. I'll be back tomorrow with another live workout at 6 a.m. So get up, flip the quilt back, get into a morning routine, get your workout done. You don't have to think about it for the rest of the day. Take care, guys, and I will see you soon.